You can barely see it. But on the blue side, I didn't do it. I really used every single scrap of the shirt. A little bit that I cut from the neckline, so it still has the button. In my last video, I asked you for ideas to how to flip this thrift shirt that I got not long ago. It's a men's shirt. It's a cotton shirt. Somebody commented, is it silk? And I went like, it's not, but it's actually a really good quality cotton. It has these beautiful creamy flowers, uh, almost peachy pink. And somebody said, uh, mix it with a light blue fabric. And I thought, I do have a good collection of fabrics uh, in blue because it's my favorite. But I also have this pair of trousers from many summers past. And it is a mixture of cotton and linen. And I thought it was such an interesting um, texture to this fabric. I think even though the shirt really doesn't have much blue on it, it has the tiniest little bit in the middle of the flowers, I still think this lady that commented had a, <laughs> something really going on for it because I think they look really nicely. So some of the ideas were to make like a dress tunic and um, like a loose kind of midi dress that I could hinge and wear it as a tunic or as a loose top. And I thought that was a very good idea. I like the way this uh, upcycle that I made a couple of videos back in here in the channel. I like where the top hits me on the, my waist, on my smallest part. And I thought I could maybe use it as a pattern to cut the bodies from this shirt and uh, trying to somehow patchwork and make either a peplum or like a longer dress type because I really like the idea of this lady commenting make it like a midi dress and you can make it like a belt and then use it both ways and I thought I do have some dresses that I like having it tied on because it, it looks I like it looks good on me I'm definitely going to chop the collar because it's quite stiff and I, I, I'm pretty sure I will never wear it like that. So I'm either doing like this uh, um, t-shirt, like a round neck or a V. I like a V neck. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. I'm going to cut this front panel with the buttons and I'm going to cut a piece of this leg and I'm going to basically stitch it together to form one big panel and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my top as a reference and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to take like the bodies of this top. So now I have these two pieces. I'm going to stitch this front to this part of the trouser and make one big piece of fabric and then I'm going to fold my t-shirt and uh, place it on the folded fabric and take my front side. Okay, so I place it mostly in the, on the fold. This is obviously in a stretch fabric and these are not. I'm going to give myself maybe even the hole just to make it nice and loose. So I might bring the armhole um, here. What I've done here is I'm starting with this button below so I can actually start from here. I cut from here. So what I've done is I used the front to make a pattern for the back and all I've done is the neckline is obviously it's still probably I cut it a little bit too low. Yeah, I should have done it maybe a little bit higher, but basically just to give myself a bit more space on the neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the shoulders and I stitch the sides 
Um, this is what I've got left. I've got one the the left front of the shirt, and I've cut the sleeves, which I'm gonna try to mount back in. And um, I have the little button, so not a lot left of this fabric, and I have the other leg of the blue uh, trouser. So with the fabric minus the sleeves. With the fabric left, I'm going to try to make some kind of ruffle to make down here um, and mix it with the, with the blue fabric. But first, let's make the vest. I'm trying to save as much fabric as possible. And this is the bottom of the sleeves minus the calves. I cut the calves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch this closed, um, the opening from the, for the calf. And then I'm going to square it a little bit and I'm going to use this length as the length for all the other pieces of patchwork that I'm going to cut. I might do the bottom layer with a new fabric because and then the, the sash, like the belt. Hmm, that might look nice actually. Yeah, I might do that. Let's see. <laughs> but now what we're going to do is I'm going to attach the sleeves. So this is my vest, I already overlooked it. And uh, I cut the sleeves this length. So first of all, I'm gonna attach the sleeves to the vest again, and then uh, we're gonna start doing the patchwork. I kind of like it now. I like the sleeves, cause I make the shoulders much smaller than the XL for men. It's way too, long in here for me so the shoulder is perfect i cut the the armhole a little bit smaller on the front and i actually think i like it here now more than i did this morning <laughs> anyway um i like the sleeves i'm gonna put in the bust and i'm gonna crack on with the skirt i'm actually now quite excited because i really like the way it suits me as an easy big dress I think it's gonna be fantastic. And I'm really happy I found this other fabric. So if you can see, it's very similar to this, but not quite. And I think that it's gonna make a very smart last layer of the skirt. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the fun big, which is uh, getting the patchwork done. I really enjoy making patchwork. So I'm, I'm gonna crack on with that. So that's the length of the patchwork that I wanted to do. And then I just cut all of the other pieces of fabric that I had, like the front of the, um, the shirt, like with the bottom holes, and the back of the bottom of the shirt as well. But unfortunately, I only have these pieces for the trousers, um, the other leg of the trouser. And so I'm going to start putting it together to make pieces of the patchwork.
Gotta make the right choice Hope I make the right noise Hoping that you like boys like me I know you feeling me from across the room I got a feeling you could be my muse I hear strange when I see you You say green but I see blue Either way your eyes the ones I'm looking to When I'm hell first Falling from heaven baby Living on prayer that you can't change I'm now about to finish. All I need to do now is stitch all around the peplum. I just fold it and fold it again, and I'm just going to stitch it. You could also iron it, but I think I'll be fine. I've decided to make myself a belt for the top, and um, I cut a long strip with a winter sheet, um, and I'm going to be patchworking with the last little bit of the scraps of the fabric that I have. I don't have a lot, but I'm going to try to make myself a belt. This is the belt I've made. It's quite a long one. I cut it. I really use every single scrap of the shirt. That's the label at the back. Um, here is the bottom plug, the little bit from the front that I didn't use. That's the tip here, and uh, even here, <laughs> this is part of the bit that I made for my front, for my top. So that's the little bit that I didn't use. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is to stitch it all around like this, leaving a little bit open, and then turn it around. And that's my belt done. I like to talk about the finishings that I've done that I'm really pleased with. In here, in the neckline, I didn't want it to have it as open as possible, so I can actually put it through my neck. And um, what I've done is, I did the top stitch on the neckline, on the darker side, so you can barely see it. But on the blue side, I didn't do it. The blue tape won't come out, you really need to pull it, so it stays secure because it's stitched from here and it's a stitch from there. So I really like, for instance, all these splits right in the front. I've done like a box split, but it's quite a little bit of fabric underneath. Nicely tacked, nicely flat, so it doesn't make any much more bulk in my belly. Also, I like how I use this similar but different blue fabric, just to add a little bit more volume. I was thinking of maybe adding an extra layer and making it in a dress, and I might still do that for the summer. It's... Um, I'm very happy with this one. I think the finish on this shirt or blouse or tunic is a lot better than any of the stuff that I've done. So it's just to show that every time you make something, more likely than not, um, you end up being better than the ones you've done before. So anyway, the, I've done a top stitch as well in here uh, to, to bring this, uh, the seams underneath. To have the seam underneath going upwards so it doesn't bulk up any more than it ought to be. So even though there's a lot of fabric, um, it really doesn't add a bulk. That's why I prefer to do this a style of fringing with uh, pleats instead of um, like a normal gather. Just so you know, these are the scraps from the shirt and the trousers. This is all that is left. Because after it's done the blouse, I decided to make myself a belt and I use every single piece of a scrap of both fabrics plus a little bit more that I already had from the second blue fabric I mean this thing here this thing here is actually which signals the middle of the belt it is actually a little bit that I cut from the neckline so it still has the button and uh, I think it's cute to keep all the details of the buttons, of the shirt, and uh, all the stitching. I, I, I literally pieced whatever I could find that was big enough. So I made myself a nice belt. And uh, the inside is a nice um, a vintage sheet that I have that I'm using it a lot, like uh, interfacing. So whenever I don't have to iron the interfacing, I can just sew it. I use that sort of fabric. But yeah, that's all that is left.